The parade will be commencing shortly. Please be reminded to set your mobile phones to silent mode and refrain from using them during the address by the review officer. In addition, water points are available at the back and the sides of the seating gallery. Thank you. Gentlemen, marching into the parade square are 547 officer cadets from the Army, Navy, and Air Force. The contingents are led by the parade second in command, Midshipman Nicholas Koo. Accompanying them are members from the Singapore Armed Forces Ceremonial Band, led by Drum Major Military Expert 1, Ong Wee Seng, and the Director of Music, Military Expert 4, Johnson Lee.
And gentlemen, the parade commander is Officer Cadet Muhammad Khalid bin Muhammad Sukri.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
就今日點樣有幾多層？Ladies and gentlemen, the arrival of the review officer, Prime Minister Mr. Lee Hsien Loong and Mrs. Lee. Please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome once again Prime Minister Mr. Lee Hsien Loong. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
The parade will now commence a march past to pay compliments to their evading officer.
contingent is formed by officer cadets from combat engineers. Engineers Training Institute, commanded by officer cadet Liu Zhiming. The seventh contingent is formed by officer cadets from Signals. Signals Institute, commanded by Officer Cadet Frederick Sung Gurley. The eighth contingent is formed by Officer Cadets from Logistics, Army Logistics Training Institute, commanded by Officer Cadet Chu Zheng Sing. is formed by Officer Cadets from Alpha Wing, Officer Cadet School, commanded by Officer Cadet Jonathan Dietrich Forte. The 10th contingent is formed by Officer Cadets from Bravo Wing, Officer Cadet School, commanded by Officer Cadet T. Yang Hong. Contingent is formed by Officer Cadets from Alpha Wing and Bravo Wing, Officer Cadet School, and Armor, Armor Training Institute, commanded by Officer Cadet Marcus Chow. is formed by Officer Cadets from Combat Engineers, Engineers Training Institute, Signals, Signals Institute, and Logistics, Army Logistics Training Institute, commanded by Officer Cadet Dineshwara Sanol Vizanathan.
the parade will now advance in review order before the reviewing officer. This is a revered tradition in the British and Commonwealth armies from as far back as 1788 to assess their efficiency and preparedness. It arose from the 80 maneuvers developed to counter the tactical moves of an enemy, both in attack and defense. This is the highest compliment the parade can accord to the reviewing officer. Ladies and gentlemen, the ten esteemed representatives of the Hindu, Zoroastrian, Buddhist, Taoist, Jain, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Sikh, and Baha'i religious faiths are respectfully invited to the front of the parade to pray for blessings to be upon the graduates. Please rise. Our religious leaders will pray for the commissioned officers to be blessed with the qualities of true leadership, health, vigilance, and to be inspired to serve with pride, honor, loyalty, and dedication to the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. For armor, Officer Cadet Tang Ong Jing Vincent. Yes. 
signals of the circuit, Lim Li Chuan Amanda. Another round of applause for the sword winners, please. Training, becoming an officer in the SDF, 
and I can say from personal experience, this is a great feeling. OCS instructors too feel a sense of satisfaction. You took in untested but promising trainees. You put them through nine tough months of training and molded them to become the leaders of tomorrow. Today's parade is special, extra special, because we are commemorating Safdi's 50th anniversary. 50 years ago, we started with nothing. It was a period of great uncertainty. Singapore had just separated from Malaysia. We knew we had to defend ourselves. So our pioneers created the SDF and built Safdi. We recruited our first batch of 140 officer cadets. All volunteers because we had not yet started the national service system. The first director of staff was Brigadier General, now retired, Kirpanam Page. At that time, he was a colonel. He said this first batch from staff was timely. It was our first time training cadets. We had Israeli advisors from the IDF, but we were in command and we were feeling our way forward. The first batch knew what was at stake and they were conscious of their heavy responsibility. They persevered through blood, sweat and tears out of a love for and a commitment to the country. They graduated, they went on to hold appointments all over the SAF and together with subsequent safety batches built up the SAF. So I was very happy to unveil the mural just now at the Institute headquarters to remember the beginnings of Safi and the first commissioning parade we held. The images remind us of the indomitable spirit of our pioneers and will inspire future generations to uphold that same spirit, to lead, excel and overcome. I'm particularly happy that we're celebrating this jubilee with many pioneers from this first batch, both the officers and their instructors. The instructors include Brigadier Kiparam Lynch, whom I mentioned earlier, the first director of SAFTI, who later became the director of general staff. Warrant officer, retired Ali Paviru, the first OCS sergeant major. Senior warrant officer, retired Sun Ching Chang. Safdi's first RSM. Around 70 officers from the first batch are here. There are too many to mention individually, but I know many of them personally, having served with them and under them. Quite a few put on their old fatigues and marched in the SG50 National Day Parade last year. Let us thank the first batch officers for being one of a kind. a long way. 50 years ago, there was no Safdi MI. We started at Jodo Town Primary School, where the instructors of the first OCS course were themselves trained to become instructors. And we conducted IQ and physical fitness tests to select the first batch of officer cadets. Then we moved to Safdi by Pasilava Camp, where the first batch of officer cadets started training even as the facilities were still being constructed. And Basilama camp produced generations of officers, NS soldiers, and NS men, including me. Every time I drive past Basilama camp, I look out for the old OCS buildings. When I was there, they were the new OCS buildings, and I look for Bravo Company on the first floor where my bunk was. Twenty years ago, Safdi moved to this new campus, the Safdi MI. It has since accumulated its own memories, traditions, and significance for more generations of officers. So, generation to generation, we improved, upgraded our facilities, improved even the food, made the training more focused, 
but no less come. And continue to expect the highest standards from our officers. Today, the Staff PMI is a key institution of the SDM. It produces and trains the SDM leaders of today and tomorrow. Staff graduates have built and transformed the SDM. And that's why, starting with just two infantry battalions 50 years ago, the SDF is now a tri-service, 3G fighting force. And on parade, we have infantry, we have signals, we have armor, we have engineers, we have the Air Force, we have the Navy. All arms, all services. A complete fighting force. We have the latest equipment, technology, and tactics. The three services fighting together as one. Well respected internationally, having taken part in many overseas operations. Why have we been able to do this? At the first commissioning parade, in 1967, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew said, what we lack in numbers, we will make up for in quality. In the standards of discipline, training, dedication, and leadership. Generations of staff trained officers have been imbued with these values and have passed them on to their trainees, the soldiers under their command, and to later cohorts of regulars and enlistment. And this has become part of the SDF's ethos and spirit and enabled the SDF to perform its duties to keep Singapore safe and secure. So today I congratulate all the newly commissioned officers who are here. And I'm glad that amongst you is one from the Royal Brunei Land Forces. Your graduation reflects the close ties between our armed forces and nations. All of you and be proud of completing OCS. Today begins the next chapter of your service to the SAM and to Singapore. You will henceforth be responsible for your soldiers under your charge and for defending Singapore, which is your country. It's your duty to ensure that Singapore will always be secure so that your families and all Singaporeans can always be confident of our future together. I wish all of you every success in your appointment as SAM officers. Remember always to live up to the officer's creed, which starts with the following words. I am an officer of the Singapore Armed Forces. My duty is to lead, to excel, and to overcome. Happy 50th anniversary to Safi. May you continue to train outstanding officers of Singapore for many years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
witnessing the traditional handing over of colors by the graduating class to the junior class. This symbolizes the handing over of the responsibility to uphold the SAF core values as well as the high standard of training of the previous cohorts to the remaining cohorts. Today, as part of the SAFTI 50th anniversary, the handing over of the SAFTI MI regimental colors exemplifies that SAFTI has been developing leaders since 1966.
The graduates of the 101-15 Officer Cadet course will now commence a farewell march that commemorates their completion of the course.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? All parents and relatives of the newly commissioned officers are now cordially invited to affix the officer rank insignia onto them.
ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you have enjoyed the parade. Guests who have been invited to have dinner with the graduates, please proceed to the OCS dining hall. For guests having dinner at Warriors Hall or proceeding to the car parks and Jukun MRT station, please follow the ushers to Warriors Hall. Please be reminded to check your belongings before you leave the compound.
No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's gets the people going. Go so hard, my friends want to find me.